Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Monday, kids are back in school, and so I went back to school today in Boise Monroe Elementary, talking to the fifth and sixth graders here. This was an amazing group of kids, very, very sharp, had some excellent questions. And when I asked questions during my presentation, I had some amazing answers. Two answers that I've never had better answers from any other classes in all my years. I've had good answers, but nothing like what we had uh, during the day today. Excellent uh, work from the kids today, talking about the water cycle, talking about pressure and how it changes in the atmosphere. Uh, here's a great question, for instance, if it's colder as you go up to the top of a mountain, why does warm air rise? If warm air is rising, why is it colder up there? So we discussed that and why that changes with the pressure temperature. And uh, we had some great exchanges going on today. So I want to say a big hello to all of the fifth and sixth graders at Monroe Elementary today. And some of the questions that they ask will be answered tonight on Fox 9 News at 9, as I do every week and every day. Those questions answered. And then I'll take those questions and send them over to the website so you can check them out. There's some 80 questions there now. If you go to Idaho on your side, click on weather and click on the weather blog. You can check out some of the other questions from the other school kids. I want to show you quickly here the radar. Now this is, we're zooming into Featherville. This is the town of Featherville. And this is a pretty big thunderstorm with a 30,000 foot top to this right here. And that little triangle you see there, uh, that little rhombus, I guess you want to call it there, the diamond, and that is hail upwards to three quarters of an inch in, in diameter, and that may be reaching the ground. The radar is looking pretty high into the storm right now. This storm is likely to pass just to the east and south of, of uh, Featherville, but I'm sure if you're living in Featherville, you can see this storm system. It's rather large, could have some gusty winds and hail. These isolated storms are still possible throughout the, the region as we move through the evening. Let's switch to the wider view of the radar and the current temperatures. Actually, First of all, we'll talk about the three degree guarantee tomorrow, 71. Today only stayed in the 60s. It was at 69 for the high today. I think we will go up to 71 during the day tomorrow. So here's that radar view, and these are those showers. That's that one thunderstorm near Featherville actually tracking in this direction here. There was one heading towards Lucky Peak, but that one seems to have faded on out. And a lot of this moisture seems to be fading out here as these clouds move in. will be partly cloudy tonight. Still very pleasant this evening. Many places might not even see some of this cloud cover. But you get east of a uh, towards Mountain Home, Towards the Magic Valley, some of these showers could move in tonight, but it all goes away tomorrow, and the sunshine comes out, and it will be really, really nice. So here's Highway 21 up to Idaho City, and this is that shower, and there's that thunderstorm right next to Featherville, tracking towards the west. Now I'm going to track this and watch it because the, the direction that it is tracking is towards the Treasure Valley here. We'll see if this one holds together and maybe sends out some wind out ahead of it. But uh, again, I think that will be isolated. Everything around the Magic Valley had some rain falling today. Keeping temperatures cool only in the 50s, much of the rain all rotating in the opposite directions you might expect. But here's our low pressure right here, and everything goes counterclockwise around low pressure. So there's a bigger of high pressure and warm weather across the west, but there's a storm system sitting right in the middle of it, and this is cool air. That is sliding to the east, but it will still spin moisture back to the west. Notice the cloud cover here increasing from east to west. Eventually, this entire influence goes away, and the sunshine comes back out tomorrow. And I'm telling you, it will be a beautiful day. In the Treasure Valley tomorrow, the future cast shows that storm disappearing. Tomorrow morning, a lot of sunshine around in the Treasure Valley. Sunshine all day, partly cloudy skies in the mountains. If you've got snow on the ground in your neighborhood, up on those higher elevations, you have a better chance of getting some cloud cover around. On Wednesday, partly cloudy. It's a little bit of cloud cover comes through, but in the 70s the next couple of days, it's Thursday. Clouds will be on the increase. We still get into the 70s, but we may get showers coming in by late in the afternoon on Thursday. So tomorrow, very mild, if not warm, getting into the 70s. But towards the end of the week, here's some of that rain that's going to start to move in. In fact, it will move in, and it's going to be a big change at the end of the week. Low to mid-70s. Mid-70s in the Western Valley. Low 70s for Meridian. Mountain home. Warm and pleasant. A northwest breeze about 10 to 15 in the afternoon with a lot of sunshine. Just a beautiful day again in the mountains. Partly cloudy near 60 in Long Valley. Mid to upper 60s in Boise County. Some nicer weather further south you go, down to the 4,000-foot level. Really nice. A mix of sun and clouds. And a mix of sun and clouds in the East Central Mountains. Watch out for some storms tonight, but tomorrow, sunshine with some clouds in the 60s uh, in Sun Valley and Fairfield as well. Some nice weather. And the Magic Valley, your nice weather's coming back tomorrow. Temperatures into the 60s with mostly sunny skies. Here's my on your side extended forecast. Beautiful weather the next two days. Sunshine, low 70s, just like we've been having since Friday. It continues, but on Thursday, it gets cloudy. It'll basically get cloudy later in the day with a chance for showers by this time tomorrow evening. And at night, a chance for showers Friday. We drop to the 60s, 61 Saturday showers and rain and thunderstorms possible on Sunday, only in the 50s, so cooler with some wind coming in Sunday night and Monday. Monday could be a windy, chilly day, and then it will warm up after that. 
doesn't warm up dramatically, but it gets nicer. This stretch of nice weather we've got right now, it will go away <laughs> for a little while. But it, it's, I mean, this is amazing. Wow. It's hard to get temperatures in the low 70s like this. You take this in June. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Please, or later in we? April yes. or in yeah. May. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Scott. Coming up.